curious about attending an ayahuasca ceremony, but you're unsure how to get ready for it, want to make it as smooth and rewarding as possible, well, let's talk about it. Hi friends and welcome to your Inceptions YouTube channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and I'm the creator of this channel where we cover everything from brain supplements to psychedelics. If that interests you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now, I've had multiple ayahuasca experiences over the past years and I've also tried many other psychedelics. Through this journey, I've learned the hard way how important it is to properly prepare for an ayahuasca ceremony. Now, if you don't prepare well, you might go through the roughest experience of your life or worse, you might have a denada experience, where it means that you kind of miss out on the real healing that ayahuasca can offer. Now, I'm sure you want to avoid both scenarios, so let me share how I prepare for every ayahuasca experience. And stick with me till the end, because my last tip is particularly interesting. So the first step is to start with an intention. So why do you want to attend an ayahuasca ceremony? Is it because everyone is doing it, or are you seeking genuine spiritual healing? Having a clear intention is extremely important nowadays. Without it, the experience can be overwhelming or ineffective. So write down your intention, reflect on it, and only move forward once you're sure. Now, your intention can be whatever resonates with you most. Many people enter an ayahuasca ceremony to discover their true selves, find their life's purpose, understand what brings them happiness, or process and heal from past traumas. Now, whether you're seeking clarity on life's direction, emotional healing, or a deeper connection to your inner self, having a clear intention will guide your journey and help you stay focused during the ceremony. So, take your time to think deeply about why you are drawn to this experience and what is your hope to gain from it. The second step is to choose the right retreat. Choosing the right retreat is as important as having a clear intention. Now, if you've seen the last Shaman documentary, you know what can go wrong. So, the right setting and support can make all the difference in your experience. So, basically, you have two options when it comes to selecting a retreat. First, there's a bigger, well-organized retreat. These retreats are often more expensive, but they offer a level of structure and safety that smaller retreats might not. You can expect a well-organized program that guides you through the entire process from preparation to integration. These retreats usually have experienced shamans leading the ceremonies. And additionally, they often have psychotherapists or psychologists on staff who can provide valuable support before, during, and after the ceremonies. And this combination of traditional and modern practices ensures a comprehensive support system. Now, larger retreats often provide comfortable accommodations, nutritious meals, and other amenities that can make your stay more pleasant and supportive of your overall experience. On the other side, smaller retreats, especially those in the Amazonian jungle, can offer a more authentic and immersive experience. Working directly with a local shaman in their traditional setting can be incredibly powerful and enlightening. Now, these retreats might not offer the same level of organization and safety as larger ones. You might find the whole experience more raw and unfiltered, which can be both a positive and a negative, depending on your preferences and your needs. Without the structured support of a larger retreat, there can be more risks involved. So it's crucial to thoroughly research your shaman and the retreat setting to ensure your safety. So look for reviews, ask for recommendations, and don't hesitate to ask the retreat organizers about their safety protocols. Now, in my opinion, for most people, a well-organized retreat with real shamans and available psychotherapists or psychologists is the better option. It provides some kind of a balance of authenticity and safety, ensuring you have the support you need throughout your journey. So check out the description below for retreats that I personally visited and I recommend. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. The next step is the health evaluation. So before booking a retreat, make sure an expert evaluates your physical and psychological health. Bigger retreats usually handle this evaluation process, but for smaller ones, you might need to arrange it yourself. While ayahuasca is generally safe, it's not suitable for everyone, especially not for those with physical weaknesses or severe mental conditions like psychosis, severe depression, severe PTSD, or bipolar disorder. So getting evaluated before the experience is crucial, trust me. I've attended ceremonies with people who weren't supposed to be there and it didn't look nice at all. So it is essential for your safety and the overall harmony of the group to ensure that everyone participating is fit for the experience. An expert evaluation can identify any potential risks and help you make an informed decision about whether ayahuasca is the right for you at this time. The next step is to follow the ayahuasca diet. So start a special ayahuasca diet at least one week before the ceremony, but earlier is better. 
Avoid alcohol, drugs, red meat, salt, sugar, spices, and caffeine. Also refrain from sex and masturbation. Now I learned the importance of this diet the hard way during my first ceremonies. Not following the diet led to severe consequences, including physical discomfort and a more challenging overall experience. The fact is that the clean body helps facilitate a clearer connection with ayahuasca, allowing for a deeper and more profound experience. The diet helps uh, purify your system, making you more receptive to insights and healing that ayahuasca can offer. It also helps minimize physical discomfort during the ceremony, allowing you to focus more on the mental and spiritual aspects of the journey. Additionally, discipline required to follow the diet can help you prepare mentally and emotionally. It encourages mindfulness and self-control, which are valuable traits during an ayahuasca ceremony. So the more you can cultivate a calm and focused state of mind beforehand, the more you will be able to navigate the sometimes intense experience that ayahuasca can bring. By the way, subscribe below and stay tuned for a detailed video on the ayahuasca diet. Oh, if you're looking for the ultimate ayahuasca guide, I've got a free handbook for you. Just check the link in the description below. The fifth step is the mental preparation. So mental preparation is key. Practice meditation, yoga, or any other activity that relaxes you. Arrive at this retreat center as calm and centered as possible to enhance the depth of your experience. Daily meditation has always helped me, though nervousness before the first week of ceremonies is usually quite normal. Creating a calm and centered mind helps in navigating the often intense emotional and psychological journey that ayahuasca can trigger. So techniques like mindfulness meditation, breath work, or journaling can help you develop a resilient and receptive mindset. This mental groundwork allows you to face challenging visions or insights with a sense of stability and openness. The sixth step is to avoid negative stories. So avoid watching documentaries or reading about negative ayahuasca experiences just before your ceremony. These stories can negatively impact your mindset. Remember, each experience is quite unique. So trust the process and believe ayahuasca will reveal what you need. It's easy to be influenced by others' experiences, especially if they are particularly dramatic or negative. Keeping your mind clear of such influences helps you enter the ceremony with a fresh perspective. Trust that your journey will be unique to you and that ayahuasca will guide you in the direction you need to go. So, Follow the preparation process, believe in the power of ayahuasca, and go on a journey of your lifetime. Now, if you want to see what happened during my experience and how ayahuasca changed my life, watch my next videos up here. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.